Coming up on Full Sail Live, baseballs are flying out of the south side of Chicago. We walk you through game two of the Yankees vs. White Sox series. Then we take a deep dive on a lifelong legacy for one of the most successful high school basketball coaches in Indiana. All that and more next on Full Sail Live. Welcome into Full Sail Live. When the Yankees and White Sox meet up, offense is usually a constant. If you remember back to the Field of Dreams game last season, it felt like a heavyweight battle. Both teams trading blow after blow before Tim Anderson walked it off in dramatic fashion. Last night, the team scored a combined 22 runs. That trend continued tonight. Giancarlo Stanton steps in, top of the first, one on, two out. Velasquez hangs a slider and is crushed to deep center field. And out of here! Yanks get off to a 2-0 lead. Stanton hit two home runs in the game yesterday, picking up right where he left off. Garrett Cole on the bump for the Yankees. Bottom one, 3-2 count to Moncada. Cole will pick up the strikeout. The power pitcher got him on 99. Cole again now in the third. Another strikeout. The White Sox have the lowest strikeout rate in the majors. Cole would finish with nine. 5 nothing Yankees in the fourth. Aaron Judge batting. He lifts one to deep right field, and Garcia will watch it go as Judge's league-leading 12th homer. Yankees here in the top of the fifth. Torres grounds it to short, and oh, baby, Tim Anderson channeling his inner Ozzy Smith. That's what the kids call a web gem. Very next batter in the inning, Joey Gallo steps in with the bases empty. High drive, right field, Garcia back, track, wall, see ya. A home run for Gallo. That's Gallo's third home run in the last 15 games after going homerless in the first 16 of the season. Bottom six, one on, White Sox down six. Not anymore. Gavin Sheets cracks a moonshot to right field and into the stands. The Wake Forest product now has four home runs on the year as he gives the White Sox some hope. Bottom of the ninth, 10-4 Yankees lead. Tim Anderson grounds into a game-ending double play. Yankees would go on to take game two as they outslug the White Sox. A lot of that can be thanks in part to their approaches at the plate. Just really good at bats throughout the night. And then, uh, you know, they held us down there a little bit and crawled back into the game a little bit. And, and, and I thought the last push there, a lot of really good at bats. And uh, was that the ninth? Yeah, just to, to, to tack on, you know, because the energy was there, you know, throughout late. We wanted to tack on. When it comes to high school basketball in the state of Indiana, Coach Mark Davidson is a well-known name. We're saddened to inform you that Coach Davidson passed away at the age of 49. Since 2014, Mark has been the head coach at Black Hawk Christian School in Fort Wayne, Indiana. He took pride in instilling a culture with core values and remaining humble. Outside of basketball, he competed in strongman competitions and also possessed a fearsome appetite. He loved a good brisket. Davidson accomplished a lot on the basketball court, but just five minutes after winning a state championship, his mind was on the hearts of his players. That's a beautiful trophy, but it's going to be destroyed one day. And just to think about the perspective, guys, of how we want to live and the type of people that we want to be, and that's what we as coaches are the most proud of, of who you guys are as people. And that's what I want to continually challenge you guys with. Davidson turned Blackhawk Christian into one of the greatest powerhouses in Indiana. He was able to coach one of his sons in every season at Blackhawk. Former assistant coach and Indiana University point guard Matt Roth is set to secede Coach Davidson. Thanks for watching this week's edition of Full Sail Live. Until next time, I've been your host, Dylan Kearns.